So, we are here, and what that means is Welcome that we... Welcome viewers to this ongoing divorce case of a show. Uh -oh. And much like a divorce, we had to leave the child, Silver Recluse, at the local McDonald's for someone who we don't <laughs> know about to pick up and entertain for the week. So Holy now, shit. much like the divorced mm -hmm. wife that found out she really doesn't like penis after all, join <laughs> us as we look at profiles for single women and then fuck up really bad at trying to flirt with them. And then, leave them utterly unsatisfied just like how we do for you poor fuckers every week. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, that's god, the best Admiral, one he's yet. Better and better. Best one yet. This is really good. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, Silver's at the local <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah, Silver couldn't be ours to be with us this week, so we... Ironically, I didn't feel like I did very good with that one when I wrote it. No, that was fucking great. We anything, really liked it. Anything that can make us laugh is, is an absolute success. Yeah, I don't know why that one got me so much, but it really did. Anyway, Silver will be presumably back with us next week. But for tonight, here we are. And if you've seen anything on Witch Channel, you might recognize this. Black Closet. Yep, we're, we're back in black. Um, we only did one playthrough, and because this is not a million miles away from a dating sim, mm -hmm. um, we... Um, just decided probably we would probably the idea of leaving silver abandoned at the local mcdonald's is probably what got you it <laughs> yeah it's it's an instinct i fought against many times in the course of my friendship with him <laughs> um so i would like to let um the admiral pick the girl because uh, the one that we pursue um unless well technically it is alpha's turn well, no, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly happy to go right along with. So it's not exactly a dating sim. There's definitely way more to it. It is a lesbian management simulator. All right, uh, so... In... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll let you choose some of these dialogue choices. I have, I have no more skin in this game. I will... Unless she picks the same girl that I picked, in which case I'm suddenly very interested again. I will take I will take votes in A B C convention. Top yeah, going I just down. didn't read what I'm responding to because I was looking at something else, so I don't know what to say. Probably honor and a privilege. Yeah, basically, uh, basically welcome to the academy. That message. Well, it is an honor. It's yeah. fairly selective. Yeah. So, so what I'll do is you guys take your votes. I'll break the tie if you vote differently. What do you think, Admiral? Are we going full aggro, or are we Considering the lag time of my TTS, don't ask me to vote on every choice you have. I'll just tell you which chick I thirst after. I think that's fair. That's fine. Um, this bot is giving us a ton of trouble. Um, right. And so the Admiral will type a response, and it can be up to 30 seconds later All that right. it actually says the speech. So why don't I steer the conversation? Fine by me. Um, let's go. Well, do we want to go full aggro? Well, it is hard mode. Do we want to go full aggro because we were? I do not care. Because my it's so getting... far it's being fast, but there is the lag time required for me to type. Right. So what we'll yeah, do you're then? You're an excellent typist. So what we'll do then, Admiral, is once you have the name of a girl that you want to chase down in mind, submit that, and that's how we'll do it. Yeah. Um. I am going to answer these questions the way that and I Mayo think is here. Mayo, uh, the, the way that I think the Admiral's online persona would answer. Mm. This may not be how she would react in real life if she were in a private girls high school in this situation, but I'm reacting as the way the woman who wrote the intro we just listened to would talk. And so my choice is I expected no less. <laughs> it's going to be one of those runs. I love it. Here we and go. And we're going to try and hurry because we're going to try and get to the first um, critical point by the end of this. Don't get complacent. 
The privileges of your position come with a great deal of responsibility. It is your duty to manage the student body and prevent scandals while maintaining their belief in your good nature. If you are too aggressive, then the karma of the student council will be damaged and your classmates will no longer obey you. If you let them get away with everything, then the reputation of the school will be damaged. Who is Dispitch, the headmaster of this school? Correct, this Pretty is much. the headmistress. Um, actually, if you're if you're going, well, no, there's not too many spots where she'd actually narrate. So, yeah. Uh, look forward to a challenge. Because you probably have seen this, Mayo. We did it on Witch Channel a little over a year ago. This is just a one shot. Silver is doing a thing, uh, and we're gonna try and uh, make some different choices this time. And we're probably gonna um, lose at the inflection point just because. That will often happen. Oh, god damn it. Um, this is we an important phone call that I have to take. McDonald's Mayo. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Uh, we've lost wit temporarily. Something has come up. So I suppose I should explain what exactly is going on here. So, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a girls-only high school we've just been accepted to. And basically, we have to live the life and times of this student. And any sexual encounters that she might, uh, she might have. That's just one of the elements. Logistically, it's an RPG game. A lot of the things that happened are on a D100 dice roll up against a threshold. So in terms of style of how things are played it's not that much different from race into space if anybody watched shadow and me do that a couple years ago except this time the setting is much different than nasa or the cccp but yeah wits here admiral cordelia is here and as soon as wit returns we are going to get started for real No, lady, we are in fact not cocky. There is no cock. Uh, nothing... Nothing organic, anyway. There are, however, plenty of tits which will not actually be shown on, uh, on camera here. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. That was an important call, but, uh, thankfully not a long one. Oh, uh, good. We're not going to make it till the Autumn Festival. Okay, cocky, aren't you? I hope your strength holds up to what's ahead. No nice words here, Elsa. The school is in peril. We have enemies who would like nothing more than to smash this ivory tower to rubble, and scandal is their greatest weapon. If St. Claudine's falls, every graduate, every board member, every good traditional family will be tarnished. The school board will do whatever they must to defend themselves. As student council president, you are their designated scapegoat. Your family background, you are not old power. You're a talented upstart, nothing more. If disaster looms, you are a perfect sacrifice for the greater good. Um. Why is high school always so much more goddamn exciting in fiction? I would hate any of this. Uh, they'll expel me to save themselves. You will take the blame for every failure the school has ever faced. Uh. <laughs> Unless you succeed, if you do your job and defend the school, there will be no need for a sacrifice. Fail as president, and you will be expelled, unable to achieve a place in a decent university. Your future will be ruined before it even begins. But keep things running smoothly, and your time at St. Claudine's will be a benefit to your resume. Of course, you will have the rest of the student council to assist you. The commander never gets her own hands dirty. You will need to rely on the skills of your minions to handle your caseload and find the truth behind the rumors. Read your case files to determine targets, then set out to assignments for your minions to take actions where they will match their skills against the skills of the target. Let's look at an example. Select oh. Leanne. Yep. Leanne is a new target, so you haven't learned what her skills are yet. Her skills will be revealed when you take action against her. Let's question her. So. For this example, I will be playing the part of your minion. Click on my card and then the question action, then click assign. Select Miss Talmage, who has a hundred in every stat. Where is assigned again? Uh, you have to click question. There we go. So, what you'll see on the left of the button 
uh, maybe they'll about to explain this. So click assign and maybe they explain it. Assigned actions are placed in your out tray. If you wish to cancel an assignment, you can click on its position in the out tray to clear the assignment. When you've made your assignments for the day, click done to begin the investigation. You've canceled it. And there we go. Click done. Maybe they will get to explain it. So, here's what happens. The first time you interact with somebody, you gain what their skills are. Those skills relevant to the thing that you just assigned the person to do, those get counted and then tallied with the 100 or with the D100 roll. D20. Oh, is it D20? Never Correct. mind. Okay, the stats are 100, the dice is 20, or the die is 20. Mm -hmm. Higher total wins. And we won pretty much unstoppably. Yes. Different results happen depending on whether you pass or fail or what have you. So as it a result, hmm? as you can see, it unlocks a new action for next, like next week or next yeah. days. Um, as a, yep. As a result, assignment. as a result of this victory. So actions use different skills. You can see what skills would be compared by looking at the icons on the sides of the action buttons. Try choosing the harass action to press Leanne a little harder. Yes. So select Leanne, select Miss Tomage. So you see on the left that it is, um... Is it sexual remember. harassment? We've Good. made that joke a million times, and thankfully, no. It is the, I might beat someone up kind, I think. Mm -hmm. Look at these odds. Yeah, don't get used to that. Um... So we, we've won. If the skills of the minions you assign is not sufficient to conquer the target, you may get incomplete or misleading reports and need to try again. Check your case log to review is the clues like you've gathered. Is this like where 98% will fail half of the time? No, not it's quite. um, it feels a little more uh, accurate than XCOM, although we're about to play it on hard mode. Mm -hmm. I think that just means there's absolutely no thumb on the scale and a random number is a random number. I think the easier modes, they um, will push things in your favor. Yeah, I never liked special favors. I much prefer an even game. Now for your final instructions, it is important that we are not disturbed. Assign some students to stand guard over this location. You can assign multiple minions to the same task. They will use the best available skill for each situation. In this case, Christina's intimidation will combine with Riley's observation. So select the location and then select the kids and guard. So you notice there are two intimidations. The red skill, Christina's is higher. Same for the observation for Riley, the blue skill. That's your combination when you team players up. And there you go. So when you're doing a location and there's like someone to find, there's the cover, which is a stat of the room. And then there's that mystery person stealth. Mm -hmm. So we were able to outweigh both of those numbers with the students we had. Now let us speak clearly. You are the leader here, but you are helpless without the skills of your minions and that creates a weakness. A weakness which someone intends to exploit. One of your minions is a traitor. Mm, how do you know that? Intercepted communications. Internal documents which are not for student size, not even yours. One of them is working against you and will intentionally fail her assignments whenever possible in the hopes of causing scandal and bringing down the school. You must determine which of your minions cannot be trusted or she will destroy you. Spend time with them, socialize, do whatever you must. Manage your karma, defend the school's reputation, and identify the traitor, or else your career will come to a quick end. Good luck, Madam President. She leaves the office. Your office, a symbol of your power and of the expectations others have placed upon you. Will you live up to those expectations, or surprise them all? That is Elsa, the President. That's us! Us. So, let's begin in proper. Here's the first girl, Vaughn. 
When you reach the nice student chest. Pose. Ah, there you are, Elsa. Everything is in order. One of the chairs had a rip in the cushion, so I had maintenance swap it out. All the filing slots are clean, and there's a fresh box of pushpins by the bulletin board. Are you trying to impress me? Claw hands! Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to do my job. I take my responsibility seriously. Being vice president means more than just waiting for a chance to step into your shoes, Captain. Would you like to explain that? Oh, claw hands? That, um... That pose always is very well, strange. Shoe uh -huh. uniforms. So, th they're not. The only uniform is that you wear the color white. Yep. Um, why are you calling me captain? You, you don't remember. Captain rolls off the tongue more easily than Madam President, don't you think? There's a sound at the door. Clients, that must be the other officers. To tell Elsa that she has to. Yeah, Mayo, I think this is the one you were talking about. Here's girl number two, Admiral. Thais. What is with this chick's size? A uh, size of what? Her eyes. Oh, What's eyes. Uh, the art style is a little bit different for her, I won't lie. Well, I don't mean to be rude, Vaughn, but all things considered, it's not right that you're vice president when my big sister is so much more qualified. I don't want the job. And here is girl number three and Thais's sister, Althea. You didn't want to be president, that's fine, but you deserve... Thais, I'm not interested. You're a natural leader, and she has the personality of a secretary. <laughs> Uh, Vaughn was elected, end of story. Oh, fine. Be stuck in your dusty old ways. Youth will overcome, you'll see. And girl number four. Uh, hello? Oh, is this the student council room? Oh. Yes, this is the student council. What happened to aggro? Um, I think this is professional. Oh good, I found the right place. I'm Mallory. I'm the hospitality officer. Oh, right. New girl. Be respectful to this young lady. It's your first year on student council, too. Yes, but I've been at this school since kindergarten, and she just started as a freshman. Well, I think it's lovely to see some new faces. Uh, thanks? Uh... Down to business, I guess? Aren't we missing someone? What about Rowan? She's already here. And girl number five, the last one, Rowan. Uh, where did you come from? The hallway. I didn't see you. Pays to be observant. Now that your minions are assembled, it is time to open your case folders and see what this week has in store. Not every case is a mystery worth solving. Is there any Some... more girls to lust after? Nope. nope. Those, are your, Those are your choices. Not every case is a mystery worth solving. Sometimes the wisest course of action can be to do nothing. Pick and choose which cases seem most important to pursue. Let's begin with a save. Uh, if it'll... There we go. And here we go. So it goes week by week, does this game, five days at a time. A shipment of you supplies. Can't... Yes, first mission. Uh, if you don't, if you're good with me narrating this piece. Yeah, go for it. A shipment of supplies has gone missing. A new set of shuttle cocks for badminton. If those supplies aren't found by September 9th, the special gym lesson will have to be canceled. Goldie, Janelle, Elizabeth, and Ellie are in that class. Do they know anything? So, here are some things we can do. We can approach any of these four students, check out the gym, raid the supply closet, or as points become available with success on these missions, go to the training room for skill points. So that'll look something like this. Wait, what do you suggest we do? 
Um, I kind of want to do all of the people in the log. Okay. Um, every student and the gym, if we can make it work. Okay, so, so to question somebody, we need green and black, right? Or green uh, and blue. It is green and blue. Okay, so, so look down here at the green and blue stats for questioning. Our two, our three strongest with a combined stat of sixty for both of those are Althea, Vaughn, Mallory. Honestly, I would say um, Rowan, investigate the room. Everybody else, talk to a, a student. Okay, so we'll send Althea after Janelle. Vaughn can go after Ellie. It kind of doesn't matter if we succeed in this first one because it will get us stats. Yeah, we don't know and... what anybody's capable of yet. And Thais can go after Elizabeth. That leaves Rowan, our stealthy stealth. Look at that black stat of 40. But she's also incredibly observant. Mm -hmm. To inspect. So is the traitor random every time. Correct. Yes. So here are our assignments. And upcoming will be five roles to decide who succeeds and who doesn't. Here we go. Going down the line. Oh. That's a very high friendly score. Yeah, that's a high we social. Social, that's what it was. We may have to use intimidation on her in order to get anything. Mm. Yeah, so that's what a failure looks like. They're all so social. So if we get within 10 of the opponent's total, it's too close to call. And Which I think still just kind of counts as a, you it, should do this again, but at least there aren't any, there won't be consequences. Yeah, basically it's a partial failure. That's well, we're, on, though. we're on the high side of it this time, but it's still too close. Yeah, dang. Oh my lord. Oof, okay. Oh, come Even. on. Even. Okay. Jesus Christ, that was nothing, not but a, at least there are no new cases. That was not a good first round. Yeah, that was fairly embarrassing. <sighs> All right, so, so there are some things to notice now. See this gauge on the left of each? That is stress. And stress plays up against loyalty. Once stress gets to the point that it matches up with loyalty, they have to take time off and you won't be able to use them until they come back with less. So now we have to consider letting them rest at some point. And um, given the fact that we just had a full string of failures. Hmm. Well, Rowan, I think, came down to a dice roll for looking at stuff. Well, let's take a look. We went... Althea, Janelle, and her disadvantage is eight. Uh, Vaughn against Ellie, her disadvantage was eight, was 16. So that was a big, big drop. Uh, wait, no, they counted blue, black, didn't they? It's, uh, we are going up against their green and black and we are using our green and blue. Okay, so never mind anything I just said. We were disadvantaged on all fronts. Yes. I think um, Rowan had the best chance of succeeding if we just try again with no changes. It's try again a with no changes? It's a gathering match to decide if you can go to fucking college. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But we cannot win here. So we're not going to do that. Vaughn would have a much better shot. Let's see. Oops. So, yeah, Janelle. Oh, we're going to need to do a combo play in order to win. Yeah. Yeah, are we going to attempt the harassment route? I still want to send Rowan to the gym. 
Okay. And then... Double up on... With two of ours against one of theirs. All right. And so, like, let's go after the top row. All right, so Janelle and who do we want to partner? Um, we need a good green and a good blue for uh, each. So we're going to need Vaughn to team up with either Althea or Mallory. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right, let's send Althea. And still question. And then Thais and Mallory for another question. Let's give it a try. Here it goes. Big success this time. Okay, at least it wasn't in the gym. Which uh, occasionally is the answer. Good. Okay, we know now so, maybe to concentrate more. Yeah, so Janelle is cleared as far as this. And if you send two girls, you know the report... Well, no, it's that they'll fail intentionally, not that they give wrong reports, if I remember correctly. Hmm. So all things being equal... Oh, hello. Delivery. You can put it over there. She sets the box carefully and turns to leave. Um, Alice, do you want to date Rowan? Nah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good talk. Now, now with everybody's stress gauges and Elizabeth being our only stuck out lead at this point. I am kind of thinking Mallory. Mallory? Really? Okay. That surprises me. Do we want to focus harassment efforts? Why? I don't know. Do we want to focus harassment efforts on Elizabeth? Janelle gave us her and Ellie as leads, and unless... Unless Ellie wound up being a fail with a success mask, then Elizabeth no, is our best... No, because it couldn't be because we sent two girls and there's only one traitor. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that her wrath won't work on her. I think we should question Elizabeth. Uh, question uh, Elizabeth. Is there any universe in which we would win with one girl? Um, I don't believe so. I mean, check. You can see the stats. Okay, so... So we want Elizabeth... Five point two. Our best odds Not are five point two. Not great. <sighs> Not great. Well, my instinct is to send two girls to question Elizabeth and give everybody else a break. Okay. Seventy seven two if we send out the end Vaughn, that's the best we can do. Yeah, go for it. And everyone else gets to chill? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oof, not a great roll. Oh, bollocks. I think we have to do it again. So everybody else is unstressed. Take another stab? Yeah, it'll have to be Mallory and Rowan to give us the same chances. Do we want to send Thais somewhere? Um, Maybe the supply closet to get some kind yeah. of help? I was going to say harass Ellie, because, but she uh, has such a high social that not even Thais' intimidation would, would be enough. Hmm. So yeah, let's see if we can get a, an item. Continue. So why do I surprise you at? I don't know. Uh, that gave mm. us nothing. 
it did give us nothing. I don't know, Mallory is so passive. But then again, I know these characters way better than you because I've played this whole game before. So you may um, feel differently upon getting to know them or not. Hmm. So we got soap rumors. Yeah. yeah. This happens sometimes. The faculty realized that an accounting error meant the supplies were never ordered in the first place. No mystery after all. Who did you expect me to go for at first? Um... I expected... I expected either Thais, Vaughn, or Rowan. Well, speaking of Thais... Oh, good, you're here. Uh, what do you want? I just thought I should point out that I am not a servant. My birthday parties have been detailed in the society pages since I was 13. My calling cards were engraved and registered within a week of my birth. So fetching supplies? It's beneath me. Oh, I forgot about this. This is why I am not into her. All right, so... <laughs> How do we go about this? I'm feeling you're a freshman. Nothing is beneath you. Let's do it. I'm aware that you have seniority and that despite your family, you have been appointed president and I have to follow your commands. I'm simply pointing out that you are wasting my talents and I won't stand quietly by. Oh. I guess which talents would those be? I'd Bitch, be very shut up and do your fucking job. <laughs> I can be very persuasive when people are stubborn and afraid. Wait. Are you saying I don't have any talents? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, excellent demonstration, I guess. Yes, it is, isn't it? I should be going. Ta! Now that she's made her point, there's business at hand. Uh, we have no cases at the moment. And we did get a training point. And we've got the supply closet. So the training point allows us to add to one of the girl's stats. But only by as many training points as we got. It doesn't go up by very much. Yep. I think we should do this in increments of five. I was also suggesting saving it Aye. until we knew what we needed. Okay. All right. So send them into the supply closet. Send them all into the closet. I'm not into super alpha bitches like her. Hmm. She does have a couple really funny lines on her dates. Yeah, it's only one <laughs> at a time. <laughs> Oof. Boy. Um, never mind the phrasing. Who do we send? Doesn't matter. Um, I guess it does in case we... Well, it's Friday. They're all gonna have a weekend anyway. It doesn't matter. Alright. Let's send Mallory. Or we could piss Thais off by sending her. I think that's a one-time thing, but I'm not sure. Although uh, maybe if you do it over and over, there's an, a second um, do we want event. To, do we want to try that? No, because I'm worried that it gets so bad that she leaves and we can't afford anyone to leave. I'm, by the way, I'm calling Althea as the traitor right now. Based on? Gut. I see. That's his word for absolutely nothing. All right, mm -hmm. go. It's worked for me before. No, your, in, your late racism has worked for you before. Oh, lemon! Oh, shit. Uh, how well. If anybody's curious about that, that's kind of how we got through Robert Den. Yeah. He, uh, he made some calls based on, um... Well, nobody has it's a... It's probably Mallory, because that's how my life goddamn works. Uh, would you like to take your lady out on a date? Or at least a socialization visit? And also to shore up her loyalty? Yes. Then that's what we'll do. Oh, Mallory. Uh, I, hi. How are you? Are you having a good weekend? 
Now on the line that we wish to date her. I'm willing to wait for Alice's response to these. Okay. I have to stop saying that. You can go A, B, or C to save time, Admiral. But being that... B. Okay. A tea party. Do I need to dress up? Should I wear a hat? Not a party, just tea. You look perfect as you are. You're fine. Let's go. B again. Thank you. You look very nice, too. Okay, I'm coming. After you. Mallory tags along behind you to the student council office and waits while you open the door. Wait, I'm it's an idiot. Quiet I, sh in here. I should have read that. Anyway. Nah, you read all the case stuff. Okay. A. It's tea, right? Is there more than one kind? I don't know anything about tea, so I'll take whatever you suggest. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold rim teacups. Five choices this time. Uh. I used to know the correct answer to this. But I don't anymore. Yeah, never mind correct answer or not. It's the whole damn thing is trial and error anyway. C. C. Are these special British cookies? Cool. Mallory picks up the teacup and takes a careful sip. Hmm. B. I'm not sure yet. It's very different. Thank you for preparing this for me. I know you must be very busy being president and all. It's a big change coming to a school like this, but everyone's been really nice to me. C. C. Not seeing my parents and no boys. I... Doesn't it drive you crazy sometimes not being able to go out or have a room to yourself? C. C. I know, right? If you keep an animal penned up too long, it just pines away. Their feathers fall out. Works the same way with people, too. People can lose their hair from stress. She reaches up to pat her shining copper curls. Mm -hmm. Still there. Phew. A. A. Yeah. But, you know, new start, new friends. Were you ever a Girl Scout? We had a song about it. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. A. I'm good at Team Spirit. Mallory looks up at the clock. Uh, thank you for the tea, but if it's okay, I should probably go. Maybe we can do something again another weekend? A. Bye bye. And Mallory gets more loyalty. So you get uh, two visits per weekend because there's two days in a weekend. Do you cannot visit the same girl twice? Um. Yeah. So now Mallory can go more missions without stressing out. So whom else would you like to buff or learn more about? Vaughn. Vaughn. Hands. Elsa? Hi, did you need something? C. Of course, whatever you need. Vaughn follows to your office, looking back and forth as she enters. I wasn't sure if anyone else would be here. Oh, I guess, uh, same thing. Yeah, I think they... C. Really, I can take care of that. You should sit. I'll prepare the tea. B. And you are my captain. I am your subordinate. It's my job to make your life run smoothly so that you can focus on business without having to worry about the details. 
Oh yeah, go eat, Mayo. Ta-ta! Enjoy. See. This was meant to be... My apologies. If this isn't official business, then I defer to you as a hostess. Tea would be lovely. Thank you. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold room teacups. And the same food choice as before. Do you remember what? I don't. I don't think it's no snacks. It's never no snacks. You never... I think Rowan not... actually wanted no snacks. You never not have snacks. Rowan is the wrong kind of girl if... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the cupcakes. She seems like a vegetables kind of girl. So to confirm, you're thinking cucumber sandwiches? I would guess so, but if you're waiting for the Admiral's confirmation... Maybe. Yeah, the dating part is all Admiral. This isn't really dating. It's the prelude to dating. Go for B. Okay. Thank you. They're very nice. Bun sips from a cup and smiles at you. So here we are. It is nice to have a chance to sit and relax between crises. But there's something on your mind, isn't there? See. Me? Is that what this is about? Do I seem unhappy to you? B. Do I? I suppose I have a few things on my mind. After all, I have a lot to live up to if I'm going to follow in your shoes. Bon rest your fingers on the edge of the table. Clients. This is a strange tea party, isn't it? I suppose we should talk about hats or hairdressing or politics, all similarly frivolous. Ah. <laughs> See. Keep thinking. You'll get there eventually. She sets down her teacup. I really should go. I need to study. Thank you for your time and the tea. B. Well, it's yeah. up. Questioning a suspect is a safe action that never loses karma. It's a good way to get a look at a suspect's skills before planning other actions against them. This is the time where we save. We are absolutely not going to make it to the Harvest Festival. Hmm. Ah, well. Let's see how far we do get. Here we go. Week two. Case two. We suspect something inappropriate is being forwarded around the class on cell phones, but the teachers have been unable to find out what. Is a scandal brewing? Investigate students Janessa, Cherie, and Kirsten. Case number three. Rumor has it that a secret society is forming among the student body, and Sally and Selma may be the latest members. Find out if this group poses a threat to the school's reputation. So now we have two cases to work, and the only stress is Mallory at 10, but her loyalty is up higher, so we can afford a little bit more. And being that time off seems to reduce stress by quite a bit, she can go one more before we do another trial with her resting. I am tempted to send. Why is there a lemon? Uh, we got no, that. A lemon is the is a useless item um, that you get from a supply closet. So it's just that not everything you get from the supply closet is always good. It's good to burn them on something that doesn't matter very much, or something that you can you're going to win so handily that the lemon won't hurt. Yeah, preferably so actually, a huge hundred. Yeah. Um, you only have five item slots. You can see that the, the space down there is not very big. Yeah. Um, I would say throw a girl at every suspect. Agreed. And, and stick the lemon to one of them because I'm not expecting, or I don't think it's crucial to win any of them. Well, our strongest is Mallory, Vaughn, or Althea, so I'll attach the lemon to one of them. 
I would actually say take the person who's most likely to lose anyway. You sure? I would, because there's a chance on the there's an off chance we might luckily succeed. Alright. Then Thais gets the lemon and we'll send her to question Janessa. Yep, question everybody. No consequences. Here we go. It would have been a victory had we Apply not used the lemon. Apply directly to face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have the ability to search her room. Next. Yeah. Good. Looking real good. <clears throat> Another search activated. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's quite a low roll. Oh. Vaughn. Captain, there's some paperwork you need to fill out. And this is not a visitation, so it's up to you, Wet. Um, A. Something to do with updating your school medical insurance. Apparently, as the student council president, you're entitled to a higher tier at no extra charge. The prerequisites of power. I'd do it myself, but I'd ask for your personal information. Parents' address, birthday, all that. I suppose I'll have to, then. Don't worry, it's not that bad. If you finish it quickly, I can have it delivered and return in time for today's assignments. So, we'll see you then. Okay, so, day two. What is that pose? Claw hands. I don't know what it is. It's a choice the artist made. Don't know if I agree with it. Raptor I woman. I would suggest yeah, right. let's give Mallory a rest. I agree. And see what, and see if 15 go down. As for the others, we need to send Rowan on a uh, scouting mission, I think. Yeah. I guess start with the lower one first. Janessa's room. Yep. Yeah. 30% uh, chance of winning. Well, Well, maybe send... How do we know that? Huh? We don't know the um, cover of the room. How do we know we're going to win? Oh, we oh don't... remember they split it into two. So we will. We have a thirty percent chance of not getting spotted, and then we have a question mark percent chance of finding anything. You see the blue question mark underneath it? Yeah, Mallory's only got a three point eight. So yeah, send her to Janessa's room. Um, what? Our odds are not good with anybody else. Mallory's our best at one point five to not be seen. Did we fail with both Sally and Selma? Is there a log? They were they were too close, I believe. Um, <sighs> I don't see anything on the right click menu that indicates. Um, yeah. I, we didn't get any failures, I don't think. There were too close There's to too call too close twice. To call. Yeah. Um. Send Althea to question one of the new member cases. Uh, let's see. Are we feeling lucky enough to get 66? Uh, sure, whatever. Okay. Um... Uh... If we're feeling risky, we could send Vaughn to scout Cherie's room. Oh, can we? Uh, we no, we can't. We could, except... I didn't realize her stealth was that low. Yeah, that's not a not a good idea. And we're giving Mallory a week off. Yeah, or a day, but yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah, uh, then... 
I don't know, dude. I would say... I would say send Vaughn to... My instinct is Vaughn to question Sally and hope the dice work. I agree. 73-8. I want to send Thais on a harassment mission. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary. No? Because if the answer is in their rooms, then we can send Rowan and hopefully not get caught. If we guess wrong that there's anything to guess from harass, our karma goes down. Alright, how about the supply closet? Or should we let, or should we let Thais do? Uh... I would say give her a week off too. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. That bongo solo. Uh... Well, we're caught. But what? Well. That amounts to a sacrifice. Yeah, we got information. Uh huh. This sounds like a time for harassment. That sounds like a time for harassment. Okay. <sighs> we should question Essie to see. Okay, so the limit of stress reduction is 10, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Question Essie. Taste Qu them till they Question tell Essie. us what we want. <laughs> hmm. Question Essie and send uh, the brute squad after one of the others. All right. So. Let's I would say, say send Mallory. Say, yep. And, and send Thais after. Uh, I think Sally is a slightly softer target. 38-2. That's not great. We could send her with the soap rumors. That will help. 80.5. Yeah, do it. Everybody else a week off. Here we go. Uh. I don't know why this is our fault. I don't either. That's a terrible roll. Aha. Uh -huh. What does Mallory want? Uh, hi. Thank you for seeing me. Uh, A. Yeah, in the spirit of... Of course you are, because you're good, and you're the president, and the student council does good things, right? Uh, I don't know if this. <laughs> uh, Admiral, do you have a, a thought? There are lies everywhere here, I feel like. <laughs> a. Okay. I just, this isn't what I was expecting. I thought it was really nice of everybody to make me the representative when I'd only just started at this school. I was looking forward to helping people, not to being a bully. <laughs> uh, I know what I'd say in this one. I know. You know what lie I'd tell. <laughs> what are you thinking? And that would be? I mean, none of these are correct. I'll give mine after uh, Wit gives the decision. I, th I think the... The shh, don't don't think about it. Answer is B. Yeah, that was my thought too. Well, yes, but I mean, sometimes I'm sorry. I'm overreacting. I just never imagined myself on the side of people giving out discipline. It's like being a parent, isn't it? I promise I'll do my best. Now that she's made her point, there's business at hand. So we have Madeline. Yeah. 
I think we should question her. Absolutely. Pro probably with Althea. Send Althea for the questioning. Um. We can Get now the sticks. <laughs> we can now persuade Essie, but I don't exactly know what good that will do. I don't either. But it's 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 the new unlocked thing, so I feel like we should do it. So we're so we're gonna give persuasion a try. Yeah, um, if we're willing to give Mallory one more, this is the time for Mallory. Let's try it. Um, Root for a big roll. And then I would say send uh, Vaughn or Rowan to the closet for some stuff. Vaughn, because we need Rowan to check Cherie's room if you think that's necessary. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, supply closet. Rowan. Let's go. I guess it won't hurt. I mean, it could hurt. We could lose karma. Absolutely. Whatever. Here we go. Unless you want to send Thais somewhere. Let's save Thais for the somewhat inevitable needing to beat somebody with a stick. I, I bet we're going to have to do something bad to Madeline. Unless it turns out that this is totally innocuous. Oh, boy. Oh, they're the bad kind of communists. Okay. Ouch. It's a really low roll. Hello. Nice. I love these. Ah, oh, damn. We gotta stop doing that. I don't see why we need to do that if we found... What was the result of the Essie thing? The Essie thing was too close. And it was just like a... Nothing happened. Yeah. I don't want to detain Cherie because that has serious consequences. Um... Well, both rooms found a phone with the picture on it. I think I want to try sending Althea after Essie and giving it another try. With a with a persuasion? Yeah. And we and should search Madeline's room. Do you think... Well, we did find on the searching itself. Yeah, it tends to be the not getting spotted doing it that's the problem. Yeah. We just have to hope for the Fucking dice roll. Discord. Why? What happened? What's up? Oh, I see. It stopped letting me type. God damn fucking... <sighs> My gut's telling me Kirsten's the problem, but I've got nothing to go on with it. This is not the button I wanted to hit. This is not the button I wanted to hit. Should we send... Well... I know what I want to do. Um... Oh, uh, I want to send Ro into Madeline's room. That's already, uh... Already gone. Why? What do you want to do? I really want to send Mallory and Thais to beat up Kirsten. Kirsten said that she deleted it. There's nothing suspicious about Kirsten. Unless she's we weren't, we weren't led in any direction. <sighs> don't don't do that. We gotta break this. Our, I want to break. Our both karma's of these. already taking a dive as it is. We can't afford you to go around hitting people. Yeah, but I really want to break both of these cases right now before the end of the week. I don't think that's the way to do it, dude. Is there a way to do it? I think succeeding with the Essie thing. This karma not regenerate. Uh, it's it can with success. To get back. It can with success, but it's tough. So you have to succeed, and you have to do it in a timely fashion. I mean, if this is a one shot anyway, why don't we just damn the torpedoes? Because mm, we still have an hour, and I don't want to lose too fast. If I let's do a little torpedo damning. I don't care. I'm not a cop. 
<laughs> this is not my girlfriend. Yeah. Besides, we gotta demonstrate this at least once. What, losing? Leaks. Absolutely. More bad rolls. Why does everybody suck? Why does that still work? Well, we got some karma back. Yeah. Y'all. Oh, hello. Um. There's your damning evidence right there. Yeah, so I remember suspension is useless. Because it just gives you... Or was it... No, suspension is useless. Um... We have evidence to detain her. And pretty legitimate stuff, too. Well, at least we didn't lose karma for this. Yeah. Uh, to Mallory. To Mallory. Go to Mallory's room, knock on the door. What All kind right. of date would you like to go on? It's and keep you. in mind that this is the choice for every girl after the tea party. It's all so you, you get to go to these places. And if you um, see this girl every weekend, you will eventually do all these things. Okay. And... Sure, I love picnics. Are there girls somewhere? Can we have a cookout? I don't see why this is a choice, but here we are. I've lost faith mm. in I've lost faith in humanity with this set of choices. Well, if you, I mean, I wouldn't give high school students a grill. Anyway, a picnic sounds great. Just give me a minute, I'll be right there. But hamburgers. I mean, hamburgers are great, but I don't want anyone under the age of 18 cooking one in a school. You head out onto the school grounds and look for a place to spread your blanket. How bold are we? A. Yeah, it's daytime. You find somewhere out of the way where you're less likely to be interrupted and set your basket in the shade of a tree. A few minutes later, Mallory arrives. It's okay. I should sit in the shady bit so I don't burn. I love sunlight, but it's bad for me. She drops down onto the blanket, cross-legged, the frills of her skirts only just covering her legs. So what are we having? Oh, damn. See. Yeah! Oh, cool! I've been sort of missing these. Settle in to eat Victory. your food. Yeah, I think you chose correctly. Mallory eats with enthusiasm, sometimes a bit too much so. She has to lunge with her plate to catch a dropped morsel before it can stain her skirts. <laughs> this is nice. We should have parties out here. Really, the student Good council should sponsor some sort of party for the whole student body, or maybe one class at a time. We can have a giant potluck. Well, no, not that, because not everyone could bring food. But we could order giant party subs, 10 foot long ones, or even have a real cookout with teachers at the grill. Oh. I think the council should do more positive things. People would like us better. Oh my god. Oh. What, Alpha? Food, man. Food. Oh, have you not eaten yet? Oh, I've eaten, but food. I know you're always up for another round. Uh -huh. <sighs> Whereas I'm Me. always up for another round of sleep. Oh, really? That's good. I don't know the whole schedule. I heard something about a Christmas pageant and a harvest festival. I wasn't sure if we would be involved. After the meal, Mallory bounces to her feet. I should get back inside. It was really nice seeing you, Elsa. Thank you for inviting me. Bye-bye. Loyalty up. Who is your second choice this week? Victory achieved. Yeah, you're doing great. Let's talk to Rowan. Rowan. Uh, good luck. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is more of the personal stuff. I think the Admiral still answers these. Yep. Yeah, the weekend visits are all, uh, are all Admiral. Good, I can take a nap. C. 
easy. All right. Rowan follows you to the student council office. She must be waiting for you to speak. She's not saying anything. A. A. Water's fine. Prepare the drinks and set out the gold rim teacups. The gold rim teacups for fucking water? I think no snacks is the correct answer, but I'm not positive. Go for the then. E. Rowan stares blankly at the cup in front of her. Silence. B. I'm fine. Yeah, decisions, decisions, eh? Tough choice here. Yeah, she's not yeah. exactly giving us much to work with, is she? <laughs> it's very true. It's a real shot in the dark. Which one do you think quit? Well... I don't think any of them are truly correct. Knowing what I know about her, actually. Um... But you can launch what you think is going on with her, and that might um, get you a step closer to cracking her open and having her actually say what she's like. I wouldn't say never mind, because I don't think that'll get you anywhere. I guess try be then. I'm fine. <sighs> well, this is going places, huh? Yeah. A. It's all right. I don't have much to talk about. I'm sorry. You notice that the level of liquid in Rowan's cup has dropped, although you can't remember ever seeing her take a sip. A. Someone had to do it. Moments pass, and it becomes clear that Rowan isn't going to say anything else. A. You're welcome. And somehow that translated into a uh, into a loyalty increase. Suspending a student is a strong punishment. Most guilty parties will break down and apologize after being suspended. But if suspension isn't enough to stop bad behavior, only expulsion remains. Begin week three. Now that the embarrassing photo is no longer a secret and Nessie is okay with it, the whole thing should blow over. Not great. Not at all. Case number four. Mariana and Nea have come to class with suspiciously similar injuries. Have they been fighting? Case five. Someone has hung an unauthorized poster in the East Hallway. It's an unflattering picture of Emily, enlarged and covered with insulting references. Find out who's responsible and make sure they don't do it again. Uh. Why are we searching the. Oh, okay. So the new member one is um, that there's a rally planned for the 19th, so we could stake out the cafeteria. Uh, we could also detain or suspend Madeline so she can't run it. What do you think? But there is a whole group of people, so I think maybe stake out the cafeteria? Alright, so stake out requires our blue-black and goes up against their yellow-blue. We don't know the cafeteria's blue. So... I mean... Our strongest, Rowan is the highest of everything. Yep, our strongest choice is Rowan by far. Let's give it a shot. Um, we should, I think, question all girls. 
Okay, so we'll get our... All new girls, I mean. Yeah, so we'll get our question squad after them. I kind of want to give Mallory a break. I'm afraid that uh, I don't remember how high her gauge goes. 30. I don't know how full it is. 30, 20 against 30. She's got one more. <sighs> yeah, but we're going to have to give her a lot of time off. Because this is just fact-finding, I kind of don't care if we win. I All would right. say give Mallory the time off, use the other three. Okay, so Althea goes after one. Thais goes after one. Vaughn goes after one. Yep. And Mallory we'll can chill. We'll leave the hallway alone for now. Okay, here Probably we go. Probably send Rowan there next time. Here we go. Ooh. Hell yeah! You hide and watch quietly. Suddenly, a group of girls waving hand-painted signs charge in and start yelling. It's a political protest. Has oh, you were supposed to stop it, Rowan! Oh, shit. We should have suspended Madeline. You're absolutely right. Rowan! Oh, fuck us all. Rowan! Next time we suspend. Yeah, well... As long as this is the truth, that's fine. Well, we solved it pretty quick. Good for and three points. And they gave points. us nothing for it, assholes. I mean, we got three points out of it, at least. Yeah. Question time. Oh, blowout. I'll take it. Okay. Althea I needs. Search the east hallway. Althea absolutely must have a break. Yeah, and after search this... the east hallway with Rowan. And after this, so must Rowan. Inspection. Um. Actually, we could. If it's just blue, we could send Vaughn. Because it's not a stakeout. Inspect the east hallway with Vaughn. Okay. And send Mallory to do a persuade. Guaranteed victory. Send Thais to the closet. Uh, these two absolutely have to have some time off. Yeah. Bongo solo. Nothing in the hallway. Okay. Back to the closet thought. Oh. Yeah. So sweet of you to care. I feel much better now. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Plus 15 is great. Emily, Emily seems, seems cheerful, cheerful today. today. She oh, tells sorry, me not to worry about these posters. There probably won't be any more of them. Yeah, fine. Big solve. And I'm wondering if karma and reputation only just tally what we get during the case. I don't know. I, I forgot to check. Okay, so we now have seven points and no cases to work. Someone goes to the supply closet, but whom would we like to increase and in what? I remember in our first game, we really doubled down on Rowan's spying skills because rooms only get harder from here. Yeah. So we're thinking perpetuate strengths? Yeah, I kind of am. Um, she tends to fail in getting caught, so her stealth needs to get higher. So we're going to make so it. They train stealth. All right. And somebody needs to go to the closet. Uh, Althea, I guess. That's all we, literally all we can do. That's great. All stealth? Yes, please. Wah. Actually, okay, so we can't minus off of, all right. Oh, no, I don't believe you can take something they already have. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Well then, Vaughn to the supply closet, please. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Headmaster time. This could just be telling us about the fall festival. Good afternoon, Elsa. I hope your regular investigations are progressing well. However, that's not why I'm here. Now that you've had some time to mingle with the girls and watch their behavior, do you have any leads on who the traitor might be? 
too soon to be certain, of course, but perhaps you may have identified a prime suspect? Do we I think... mean, I certainly don't know. Do we They're think... all rolling like garbage. Do we think we should go with the idea that the Admiral's luck is enough that it just might be the one that she's crushing on? Uh, so again, based on nothing? <sighs> I mean... It does, I mean, does this choice affect anything at all this early? I truly don't remember. We probably said no one stands out last time. Because it's so early. Okay. I don't know, Admiral, do you have Let's any thoughts? Let's say nobody stands out. Really? I do hope that's a sign of you being cautious and not one of undeserved loyalty. Don't be misled, Elsa. One of those girls is lying to you. She will make you pay the cost for her deception. Whatever the case, time is not on your side. The traitor must be exposed and expelled before the Harvest Festival. That means on October 24th, you must be prepared to deliver a final verdict. You cannot investigate each student equally. Focus your attention on those who seem most suspicious. Build their loyalty, learn their secrets. The school board is counting on you to make the right decision. I'll leave you to your work. Okay. Who goes into the closet now? I'm gonna say Thais because, um, because. You wanna see if there's another message, don't you? I don't. It's because we're gonna have to do a round of questioning and I don't like her very much for questioning. Ugh. Well, that's gonna have to get used quickly. Mallory! Knock on the door. The other three dates. Yeah, we're still here, Mayo. We will be going until 10 o'clock our time, so 45 minutes or so. All right, Admiral, what's the next date for your uh, chosen? Where are we going, Fly Girl? A movie? Sure. Can we go right now? The cinema front is decorated with posters for various films and a marquee of showtimes. B. Okay. Okay, get popcorn. Lots of popcorn. After you return with your snacks, she hands you a ticket and you proceed into the cinema together. You settle in to watch an animated adventure about a fantasy world where tame dragons are used for commercial air travel, carrying pods of passengers strapped <laughs> to their bellies. Oh, that's so cool. A young girl wants to become a dragon pilot. Her parents disapprove. She accidentally releases a dragon link from the training pens and mayhem ensues. In the end, she becomes an unlikely hero and receives a kiss from a handsome prince in thanks. The way with which to condition your uh, scaled reptile friend of large size, right? <sighs> Valerie's first reaction to seeing sunlight again is to break out in a yawn. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? B. I guess you could look at it that way. Are you an underdog? You always seem so well in control. Be. You big softy. Well, you do a good job. <laughs> Mallory dust off her skirt. Thanks for coming out with me. It was fun. And visit two. We have not visited Althea or Thais yet. Althea. Althea. I can't believe that the bot pronounces these names correctly and doesn't know how to pronounce the word weird. Hmm. <laughs> well, hello there. Looking for me? <laughs> Business or pleasure? C. 
Now I'm intrigued. Very well, lead the way. See again. <laughs> this awful delay. Uh, the reason that Alpha is able to predict the Admiral's thoughts is that he can read the chat before the bot finally says what she typed. Yeah, there's a reason I have that up. Yeah. Althea follows you to the office, then holds the door for you as you enter. I do not know the answer to your question, Mayo. Do you I don't know the question. Someone read it to me? Do you think Thais becomes a half-decent person after being in love, or does she remain like that? She... I, I don't know. I, of course, never romanced her. I get the feeling that she is always a little bit abrasive, but, like, ropes you into being on her side of the sarcasm, sort of. Mm. So, here we are. Coffee, tea, or me? Duke, get out of here. This is lesbians. <laughs> B. Either is fine. No, wait. I'll have the coffee. It's the president's private stock, isn't it? Milk. No sugar. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold rim teacups. There's no place for me here. Yeah, there are better places for Duke. Which do you think quit? <laughs> oh, since we, I don't. It's not like we've gotten them wrong per se. We just, I don't. I feel like there is more enthusiasm than what we've seen. I'm gonna. I kind of want to say cucumber sandwiches. I'm torn between cheese and crackers and cucumber sandwiches. Is that your real life appetite talking? D. Oh, that's a nice variety. Thank you. They have picks of her cup, takes a sip. Eastern European cheeses. So, what did you want to see me about? B. Are you asking why I didn't run for your job? Oh, good. I'm glad that's settled. I don't mind the work as long as it doesn't take up too much of my time. My parents would be disappointed if I weren't part of the student government, and it looks good on my resume. Besides, we learn more this way. Think of all the secrets we're required to sweep under the rug. Outside the council, we might never know. Althea takes a slow sip, holding the cup to her lips for moments afterward to forestall conversation. You're a very pleasant hostess, but unless there's something specific that you need, I should get going. Wow, C is fairly hey. blunt, eh? Have a good day. If there are five items in your supply tray, you cannot visit the supply closet again until you use up one of those items on a task. Oh, missed the save. Oh well. Case six. Urgent. Deborah reports that her roommate Shay never returned to her room last night. Her whereabouts are currently unknown. She may be lost, injured, or even kidnapped. Does her best friend Tynika have any information? Case 7. Tracy, the top student in the art class, is due to unveil her newest work at a special presentation for the Board of Trustees on October 6th. Make sure the painting she has designed is appropriate. Appropriate or appropriated? Hmm. It did Questions. Say it. Questions? Uh, questions in Shay's room, please. Okay, so all of our high question squad is available. So, Althea, Vaughn, Mallory. Begin the interrogations. Hmm. Shay or Tracy? Uh, Shay is more pressing. Indeed. Torture them till they tell us what we want to know. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to use any items while there are unknowns. We must away. Uh-oh. Do what? 
I don't like the sound of that. We fail a lot more in this game. I feel like the dice is weighted. Oh shit. Well, not, that we blew everything. Not good. Um All right. Now we might want to retry with a little bit of help from our friends. Indeed. Uh we blew everything like a really drunk hooker. Yeah. <laughs> I would say Rowan in the magnifying glass cuz this is important. It ups our chances of winning to 34. And then, That's all we've got. Yeah, let's go. I would say... Get another one in on Tiny, or on Deborah with some help. Well, okay, we didn't... This was too close, and we were on the bad side of it. I almost want to jump to harass. You want to? I do. Do you think just Thais by herself could do it? Probably not. Nope. Not even okay. with the baseball bat, is that Ooh, a good oh. idea? Boy, but if boy, we, boy, boy. But if we send out the Aaron Mallory to help. Mallory and Thais. To Tynika. Excuse me, to Deborah. For harassment. Mm -hmm. Do you think 61 8 is enough, or should we send uh, some assistance. No, save the bat because I also want to harass Tracy. All right. So we get we get up to 80.5 if we send the fashion magazine. Yeah, it's garbage. Take it. Okay, here we go. And then I send, send the other two troopers. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thais is the bird spot. Send the other two to Tracy, and I believe harass her as well. Vaughn won't help out Thea. She's superior on both stats. Oh, you're right. Well, then send Althea and a baseball bat. Uh, we don't even need a baseball bat. Even without the baseball bat, it's still 80.5. And this is be, um, a good opportunity Target, to see Aldrin if she... And fire. <laughs> <laughs> if she uh, deliberately throws it, because that's a pretty convincing statistic. Okay. Are we going to send Vaughn for or something? So is the supply closet. Can we do that? All right, so the items have to be fully gone before we do that. Huh. Okay, then. Um, Strange. Um, that's we are, totally useless. Yeah, absolutely boned of not getting caught looking. That's not good either. I think we better just lay off... Uh, Tynica. Indeed. All right, let's go. Caught you looking in my underwear drawer. Yeah. All right. Ah, so we can explore we may the be city. Able to find her in the city. Just <laughs> enough. Running away. Okay. We didn't lose karma for it. Just enough again. Then we're gonna have to search her room. Uh, what does city require? Click on city. City is exploration. There are no stats assigned to it at all. Mm, sounds like a job for Vaughn. Okay. Tracy's room. Uh, yeah. We need Rowan. Yes, we do. Uh. And there's absolutely nobody who there's can help nobody her. that can help. We're gonna get caught looking. There's just nothing to be done. Yeah. Uh, are there any new options for Tracy? We can stalk. And Mallory's our best hope. Mallory actually would not do too bad. Her uh, Tracy's observation is, is quite low. 
Uh, Volti, this is half detective agency, half high school dating simulator with girls. Who the heck and only is that? Girls. Who, Volti? Someone's watching this? Yeah, Volti's been around for my, uh, for my adventures with Shadow and Coma. Oh, okay. Very well. And Our show is somehow even worse than that. Yeah. Um, and, you're uh, welcome to watch, but we're garbage. <laughs> welcome to Lesbian Management Simulator. <laughs> this is mostly detective work with a little bit of dating sim in between, and since all of the characters welcome are women. Welcome to this garbage truck of a stream. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to send Mallory to, to stalk Tracy? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Uh, odds are a little better than a coin flip. Here we go. Uh, well, our grand lead was to the steakhouse from the diary. Yeah, I would say do it. There she is. We spotted her. Part two. Yeah. We drag her back to school. We've gotten a lot of barelies. Well, we've also gotten a lot of definitely missed. Two points. Huzzah. Now lock her in the basement. Yeah, right. Uh, the way Admiral's been talking tonight, yes, I can guarantee a good time will be had by all. <sighs> yeah, well. Okay, all we're right. good. Paintings have been the painting has been investigated and is checked out. Okay. Cost us a ton of karma, but... What hasn't so far? Yeah. Uh... Well... Mallory to the closet? Fuck. An envelope. An envelope is sitting in the student council in tray. Hey, does anybody Address remember who got... In the closet with her. <laughs> Who got the first lemon? Uh, shit, I think it may have been Mallory. Do you remember th that I think Kuro told us this, and I don't remember if she looked it up or not, but that the traitor is more likely to pull lemons? It was I one of the reasons we suspected Taigi's last game. I believe Mallory has pulled twice. Has pulled lemons twice. It's a very small sample size, but it is a hundred percent lemons. Oh. Well. Anyway, here's some blackmail. Oh my God, the red teardrop. No other clues to go on. The only thing to do is sit. All right, asshole. All right. If she is the traitor, then I will never love again. Too many times I have been betrayed. Who haven't we sent to the closet yet? We probably haven't sent like Rowan or any something because she's so useful. Send Rowan. Yeah. Um, if he makes you feel any better, our Admiral. Oh, um, my lemon. girl was also the traitor last time, but we had spent so much time with her that she confessed her traitordom and was so wildly in love with me that she didn't want to be a traitor anymore, so we got to keep all five girls. But I had no idea it was her, even at the very end. I was a complete surprise. Mallory. Yep. Tongue game just that good, huh? Apparently. It seems that way. All right, what? two choices they, left like for next. the Chosen. A. Space time. There's a planetarium on campus? Oh, you mean at the science museum? Sure, I'd be happy to go with you. Excuse me. You head to the science museum where you bypass the super high definition movie displays to walk into the largely empty planetarium. The seats are large and comfortable, and it's not at all difficult to find two of them together. You lean back and wait. Eventually, a program unfolds detailing the origins of life on Earth and how plants and animals have developed over time. 
At a guess, the narrator for this film was an older British gentleman, and you smile at the few words that sound quite odd in his accent. <laughs> at the end, they talk a bit about the possibility of life on other planets. You wonder if science will have an answer to those questions in your lifetime. Outside after the show, Mallory skips along beside you. That was pretty cool, huh? B. Probably. It's more real than a lot of our classes. I mean, in science class, you can actually do stuff instead of talking or reading about it. Absolutely. What about you? A. I totally hear you. Like, chemistry is fun to watch, but I'm not very good at the tests. I'm best at biology. Anyway, I guess we'd better get back to school. Thanks for the trip. And the only one we haven't visited is Thais. The other three, of course, are available as well. Torture her. Okay. Oh, Elsa, what do you want? The final tea party. B. Oh, well, all right then. You lead the way to the office and hold the door for Thais as she enters. So? Well, no, I don't. A. I, I don't so. Green tea. Coffee, yep. B. Are we allowed coffee now? I thought that was against the rules. A. I suppose I may as well try a cup, if you're offering. You prepare the drinks and set out the golden teacups. A. Multi likes the avoiding inquisitive nature of this game. Mm. Oh, those look nice. I mean, they'd look better in blue or purple, with a spiral trim and some sugar work or edible glitter. But this will do. Oh, stop fucking complaining. My god. I think that was Jesus sarcastic. <laughs> I think it was sarcastic. Taiye steps delicately from her cup and settles it back into its saucer. So is there something you wanted to talk to me about? This isn't about my sister, is it? A. Oh, sorry. I wouldn't think so. You've known her long enough. I'm just saying, I'm not carrying love letters for you. Oh. <laughs> On the spot. A. People asking? Yes. Me actually doing it? No. Well, the girls in my class know better than to ask me that anymore, after what I did to Megan. I won't have these unworthy girls wasting my sister's time. So forget about it. <laughs> she's a royal a. She's a royal bitch, but I like this. So what did you want then? Uh apparently not, Volty. B. Oh, alright. What did you want to know? See. No, really? She's a siscon mayo? There's nothing strange about the way I look. It's within the rules, isn't it? Question is, why aren't more people doing this? Why do you make yourself up like you do? <sighs> a. Completely missing the point. Thais twist her cup around on its saucer. So, I still don't understand why I'm here. What do you want from me? Do you want a makeover or something? A. No offense, but whether you're trying to fit in or stand out, there's a lot more you could do with yourself. 
Well, you know where you find me when you're ready. I should be going. Ta. If one of your minions is a secret trader, she will tend to sabotage you by failing at tasks you assign. Even Wait, fetching supplies might decrease? go wrong. It went up. I'm convinced at this point that it always goes up. Okay. Three weeks until the Harvest Festival deadline date for the trader. Begin week five. A large number of geometry students all got the exact same grade on their recent test. Is someone cheating? Investigate students Adela, Gianna, Sherry, and Kathleen. An unusual number of students have been missing class due to illness, and they don't seem to be faking. Investigate. Okay, we don't have enough to investigate all six in one shot. Who do we leave out of the initial questioning? I would say three test takers, two ill girls. Okay. Uh, who do we wish to send with the lemons? And to whom? It doesn't... Uh, the people who will fail. And Wear one on mask. each side. All yeah, right. right. All right, so our, our least skilled at this kind of questioning are Thais and Rowan at 45 and 50. Yeah, we just can't hold it against them when we're looking at their tallies to remember that we've been kind of deliberately tanking them to get rid of lemons. Well, here we go. Victory regardless. An 88? That's bad. There are some people like that, but we'll keep that in mind that she thought that was a poor grade. Hmm. Okay. Crit! Crit! Oh, shit. Does she... That's certainly a reasonable explanation. Yes, but her enthusiasm about it and having to mention that comes back around to being suspicious. So but it's you... good that we have some more leads. Right. Uh. Well, she seems to think the same thing, which is... But so with... it's not like the one girl is crazy. But with decidedly less enthusiasm is the thing. I don't think we even... Well, <sighs> who's the one who said she got lucky? Sherry? Yeah. I think we should send Rowan into Sherry's room. Either Sherry's room or Anissa's room. Um, I would say send Rowan to the chemistry lab. To the chem lab? Uh, you know what? Send Vaughn to the chem lab because it's not a huge deal if we're seen at the classroom, if I'm not mistaken. She can't win. I know, but I don't think we're going to lose karma. It's a classroom. We're allowed to be there. It's not like it's a girl's private room, you know? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'm very sorry, and I should be uh, flogged for my uh, indiscretion and poor memory, but... Well, that we can't hold against Vaughn because we know there's no way she wins. Yeah. Um, and we send Rowan to Anissa or Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's room? Mm-hmm. 19-5. Do we send someone to question Kathleen? Might as well. All right. Who's it going to be? Um, Everybody's stress is equal. But, send but Mallory, Mallory, send Mallory to geometry. To geometry? What if there's just like a fucking poster she that has the formula on it, you know? Maybe. But bear in mind, she can't win either. 
Well, she can't win the, the, the sneaky sneak, but I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Uh... Althea or Thais to check Kathleen's stats? Althea, maybe she'll win. It's not crucial, but... And does Thais need to do anything? Maybe a closet run? Yeah, sure. This is some incredibly creepy music for... nothing that bad. Oh, I know. Pop one karma. Alright, so we don't lose much there. But we do win the... Mm. Yeah, I was thinking it was very intense. Hmm. We need to go after Anissa, I think. Detention or harassment? Uh, I would say persuade. Oh, we finally succeeded. Yeah, but... I mean, that wasn't the thing I was the doubting. The music was reminding me of another game for a minute. Hmm. That sounds more like the teacher has a problem. Yeah. The sedative! Alright! Yeah, I was wondering when that would come back. Yes, honey? Hi, Elsa. I brought you something. What's in the box? Look and see. She opens the box to reveal an assortment of apparently homemade cupcakes. Is it her dick? <laughs> see, it's my birthday today. So mommy sent me a care package, and I thought it'd be nice to share with the rest of the student council. Aw. So here you go. You can give them to the others. Oh, I thought they were cupcakes. Let's see that they're cookies. A. Oh, you want... Okay. Thanks! Anyway, I'll let you get back to work. Bye-bye! <sighs> Alright, so what um, are we doing click with... Click on Anissa and what are our choices? Persuade, question, harass, detention. You want to try good old-fashioned harassment? I do. Althea is our strongest for it. It's true. 93, or if we send Thais, 38.2. Goodness. Send in the Terminators. <laughs> huh. Um... I'm really stumped on the other one. What do you mean, Ramona? No, the other case. The other case? Of where we're supposed to go from here. All we found is that the teacher seemed really fucked up. I have a feeling it's going to turn out that, like, the teacher has, like, some sort of nervous breakdown and just gave everybody an 88. But I don't know how to prove that. Maybe she's been watching too much Back to the Future. Oh, no, I think she's been watching too much... What is it that Commence all work and no... Order 88. Jeez. <laughs> um... I guess send Althea after Anissa. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a For... sign with that. I feel I like Sherry... Don't... Sherry has the most to gain from... from this number, judging by her reaction. Well, the other, we also didn't succeed with the other two. Yeah. Um, we can't send Rowan to search a room right now. No, Rowan needs to rest. I don't know. Um, send Mallory to do another round of talking at either Kathleen or Jonna. Soap Rumors gets us up to 93% if we choose to use it. Hmm. Sure. Why the hell not? All right. And hey. I would say that's it. That's enough? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I don't 
know what, where that got us. Oh my god, crit versus crit fail? And we we're on the wrong end of it. I am becoming more suspicious of Mallory. Do you think the manipulation is in the D20? I do. Oh my god. If it is, Mallory. Um, do a persuade on Anissa. Persuade Anissa? Mm-hmm. Um... We'll give a we'll give out the uh, break. Let's send Mallory. Mm-hmm. Right now you're sending both, I think. If it is Mallory, I will space myself into the nearest okay. star. Eighty point five. Oh. Don't feel bad. It happens to all of us. And if it is Mallory, you're building up your relationship with her so high that she'll confess. <sighs> I truly don't know what to do about this one. I will be right back. Okay. I want to search... I want to search Kathleen's room. Okay. Uh, send Mon to the closet, I guess? It's Mallory. Mallory's throwing too many crit fails. Oh. Yeah, we blew it. It's Mallory, though. I have almost no doubt. Oh, I totally forgot. Volti, thank you for the for the update. Uh, Volti had Volti had surgery. Oh my goodness! I assume they made it. Recovering slowly but surely with a ton of ice compression. Oof. And Volti is a dude. Very well. I assume he made it then. Well. Why don't we search Ramona's room? All right. Rowan's got one more in her. It is Friday after all. Indeed. Um. Oh, I don't know. We're bleeding karma, though. Yeah, we're so screwed. Um... Try one more question of some of the other girls. Let's take another stab at Gianna. Did we harass Sherry? Uh... I don't believe we, no, we just searched her room. Yeah. So are we gonna harass Sherry? I'd say harass Sherry. Um We're guaranteed victory. We're guaranteed victory without Thea. It's strong with Thais. Send Thais, we barely do anything with her. <laughs> Um, and one more question of either John or Kathleen. At the end, Vaughn, together. Yeah, do it. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, Another hit. Uh, Ah. Uh, we're so boned. Oh. Are 
we're gonna lose this game. Yeah, we are. Oh my god. That was not the question. No. Oh lord. Lord, lord, lord. Well, bring up Mallory and we'll wait for the Admiral to return. All right. Well, this is what it's going to be, so I'm just going to pick it. I'll be, uh, I'll be back in a sec. And in the meantime, uh, wait, do you want to answer Volteon? Do you ever want someone to just make you a sandwich? With whatever oh. compending speech you got. Be right back. I'm actually not a huge sandwich person. Um... There's a few, like, standard go-tos I like. And I suppose, like, ever, yes. Like, even if I go to a place and order a sandwich, I certainly do want someone to make me a sandwich, you know? But just, like, going about my day, there's a lot of times when I'm not in the mood for a sandwich. Um, in general, I hate effort or having to do anything. So even when I do want a sandwich, yes, I would like someone else to make it for me. Uh, but I would- I want someone else to do everything for me. Uh, my love language is definitely acts of service, and the first time my- my girlfriend, now fiancé, emptied the dishwasher without me asking and just, like, did it as a surprise, I almost burst into tears. Um, so, do I ever want someone to make me a sandwich? Yes. Uh, but probably not in the way you mean, and not terribly often. So that is pretty much all I can say on that subject. Um, I... I like Samukas because they tend to be pretty acid neutral. I prefer to make my own though rather than have someone else make them for me unless they know what I want specifically. That's fair. Uh, the, the mysterious disembodied voice heard over the Admiral's sandwich treatise was, uh, the fiancé in question, uh, who I believe is telling me that she's going to bed. No, I have what are you acid here for? reflux from hell. I like sandwiches, no matter how I get them. Well, thank you for the, thank you for the kiss, fiancé. Um, hey, Karo. you should go to bed. I want to go to bed. Uh, everybody says hi, and by everybody I mean Alpha, but I assume that the Admiral will also say hi at some point. Oh sure. no, please don't. He threw at the microphone. So this last date for Mallory is the coffee house. Uh, one moment, please. Um, Beck, wait, is it singing or poetry or comedy or all of the above? C. Anyone can sing. The question is, are you any good at it? Which I'm not. I'll do karaoke if you want, but if this is supposed to be proper singing, they might bang the gong. <laughs> I love the reference. Yeah, that's, uh, I did not expect that. A. You know, to get me off the stage? You never watched that show, did you? Unfortunately, Anyway, no yes. worries. I've got a funny story to tell that'll be much better. Let me get my notebook, okay? This will be fun. The coffee house is a warm, intimate space filled primarily with students and young professionals. Two of you in your white uniforms stand out from the crowd, but not enough for anyone to stare. Mallory signs up for a performance slot while you order the drinks. When her turn comes, she bounces up onto the stage and starts reading a story out of her notebook. It involves a girl going for an errand and being joined by a motley assortment of individuals one after another. Every time someone is added to the group, Mallory reads off the whole list again, getting more and more tangled up with each repetition. A boy blowing bubbles, a turkey eating bees, a donkey riding a steamroller. Finally, she concludes the story with, and just look what followed me home. The audience laughs gently and applauds. Mallory skips back to your table to collect her milk and cookies. That's so wholesome. How'd I do? 
<laughs> See. Nobody's ever totally original. She sits in her chair, swinging her feet. Thanks for taking me out. This was fun. I just wish... Well, I wish my friends could have been here to see it. My other friends, I mean. They'd fit in here. I can almost see Brie... She cuts herself off. But they're not here. And you are. I'm glad you are here. This was really nice of you. So, I guess we should probably go back, huh? Okay. Second girl. Uh, bad news, Admiral. We're almost positive that it's uh, Mallory because yeah. uh, she rolled that crit fail, and after you left, we sent her on another mission. Immediately, she rolled a second crit fail. Yeah. But the good news is, with the way things are going, she will probably confess Fuck. her wrongdoing, and you will have swayed her with the power of your wholesome love. Two words that I never thought I would string together when referring to you. Next girl is what choice? All right, it's up to you, Wit. Oh, I don't know. Um, Ty said the open mic is pretty wild, but I know nobody much cares for her. I think I'm the only Thais apologist. It's your pick because, I mean, we're running out of time anyway, and I kind of want to just blow through to the festival and accuse Mallory Do at this her point. Then. No, okay, do Rowan, because there is one that is fairly elucidating of her. Do Rowan. All right. Please, please. All right, so... We're going we... to the movies. Go to the movies? Yeah. Stuttering, okay. And what do we do? She picks the film. She picks film? Yep. B. Yeah, it's from our perspective, right, B? I don't want to mess yes, this up. Yes, sorry, B. Yeah. Movie about a charming but impoverished gentleman who works his way up through European society by seducing strings of ever more powerful wives and widows. While not exactly explicit, the romantic scenes are frequent and prolonged, leaving little doubt as to his prowess in the bedroom department. <laughs> Along the way, he falls in love with a young woman of good family who, as an unmarried virgin, is constantly chaperoned and out of his reach. Oy. At last, he assembles enough money to make an offer of marriage, only to discover his dismay that she is the secret half-sister from the days when his father was just a seducer as he... Jesus. When the credits begin to roll, Rowan touches your hand, indicating that you should wait for the crowds to clear out before leaving. Outside, she offers you a hesitant smile. That was nice. I kind of want to go with C. Do it. Not really. The sex is part of the story. All the people and the things they do, it's because of desire for the things they want and aren't supposed to have. And the audience is part of that, watching what we shouldn't. Can we go now? The outing ended, you return to school. Okay. Time to plow, plow, plow. It is ten. Well, is this where we want to stop? We would have to make it through three whole weeks. And the last week took us... Then let's stay uh, the Let's damn all the torpedoes and just do whatever the fuck we want. What does that mean? It means... Harass well, we're going to lose so much karma before the three weeks are over that we will we will lose the game well, and then, not get to that point. Well then, why don't we just finish this and call it the one shot that we intended this to be anyway? What we... C yeah, I mean, what we could do, if you're willing, Alpha, is if you have any spare time, just get to the harvest festival and see who it was oh on my own continuing continuing the trail of, of choosing mallory every week just to make sure if they did if it is her she would confess and then just letting us know because i am curious i honestly don't mind just staying on by myself here or with the admiral. oh you know i bet the admiral will stay with you yeah i don't mind staying and getting through this i mean i have to go to bed but right. you guys don't all right what, what do you think admiral I could do that. All right. Then we'll finish this one shot once we get to the Harvest Festival, and it'll be on video whether Mallory was the real the real traitor. Yeah. And I will sign off, and I wish but you both. But he is doing all the stagey because my brain is melty. All right. 
All yeah, right. so he'll do the gameplay, and at the very least, you can do the dating part if there's any more of it. Um, best of luck. Thanks. All right. I love you. Have a good night. Sleep tight, wet. Uh, bye, bye, guys, and goodbye, anybody who's watching. You shouldn't have watched. Bye. Later. Okay, here we go. Rumors indicate that there may be a gambling ring at work at the school. Check out the rhetoric classroom for evidence. The treasured brooch belonging to Julina has vanished. Locate and return the brooch. Julina last remembers seeing it in either her room or the physics classroom. Also, both Gail and Maud were admiring it recently. Oh, shit. Two more fallen ill. Uh... All right, well, now that we've got four cases to deal with, here is what we're going to do. We're just gonna go full-blown through with, with this. Because now, at least my only goal. Clearly the science teacher loaded them with anthrax. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me in the least. And we will send, yes, we will send Rowan on a scouting mission to Julina's room. I'm going to attempt not to run out of karma before, but... Althea throwing a crit fail. She's got enthusiasm. Dead even. Oh. Gail may have it. All right. I suspect. Th oh, God damn it. You know what? Let's demonstrate what it looks like when we overstress one of our people. So Rowan's stress will hit her loyalty limit upon this mission. Beyond that, we are going to question Tracy using Mallory. I'm gonna see about persuading Louisa. Actually, hold on. I'm going to see about persuading Louisa with perfume. And... Uh, let's also check out the physics lab. And send Thais here to guard. Here we go. Good. The brooch. Okay, so that's going to be detention against Gale on next turn. That's essentially what Wit was saying, and unfortunately, I'm guessing another search of the classroom would have taken care of that, but oh well. Yeah, so Rowan's absent due to stress, because we maxed her out on, uh, on capacity. <sighs> Shit. But we get back some karma as a result of neutralizing a target.
Well, let's get in some more persuasion. Oh, shit. I only want to send one. might get us back a little karma if nothing else I'll search Tracy's room actually no I won't I will instead search Gail's room wait no 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 that's not what we want. What we want... What we want is detention. Because she's got the brooch. And we can do something with that. We'll give Vaughn a break. Rowan will come back. Another crit fail on Althea. But it was enough to get back some karma. We got her. Ha <laughs> ha. Gained three points. Um, we're going to make Vaughn Yeah, Vaughn can search Tracy's room. Nah, you know what? Better stealth. Let's make it Rowan. And then we'll give her a proper break. Um, we're going to make Vaughn. Give them breaks before they break you. Yeah, that's probably fair. Mallory and Thais can take a break. Why was the music so fucking intense for a second? <sighs> Not sure. That does make me think there might be something going on soon. We'll have Vaughn search the rhetoric. Everybody else can rest. Yeah. Shit. Various dollar amounts in the names of three girls. Carolina, Desiree, and Skylar. Oh no, the pandemic has broken out. Oh shit, 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 shit. Not good. Bruh. Yeah, this ain't going well. All right, we're going to send our least stressed people out for questioning. Whoop, oh, nope, no double team. And you two can take a break. Only smart people can come out ahead, eh?
Well, we can no longer see Mallory. We've used up all the dates there. Do you have a secondary you'd like to pursue, or should we just throw these uh, next two dates away? Vaughn. Vaughn. And here we go. All four dates available. C. The coffee house. Do we expect her to perform? C. A mission of cultural exploration. Mount and dismount. Fine choice of words. <laughs> Performance artist. <laughs> yeah. Date number two. Thais. Yes. D. To a movie. A young woman attempting to win the interest of a rich businessman's son through her talents in ballroom dance. Of course, there's a big misunderstanding, and they part with tears and anger, requiring an even larger scheme to get them back together. <coughs> oh, Mark! I'm sorry, excuse me. The happy ending comes with a dance number that Aww. seems to incorporate the entire city. <laughs> I mean... Oh, we found your niche, have we? A. then. Expelling a student should be a last resort because expulsion always damages the school's reputation. However, if a student is a danger to herself and others, it is better to remove her permanently. Two weeks left. Here we go. A general council meeting. So, how do we conduct this meeting? Let's say... How direct do you think we should be with our traitor, Admiral? Drop the fucking hammer. Drop the fucking hammer it is. Let her see. Continue dropping.
and both of those are valid. They are. But do we swing a hammer or do we commit to swinging the hammer? All right. Let's go with B first. Oh dear. Well, Rip. a new shipment of supplies has gone missing. Copies of Don Quixote. If those supplies aren't found by October 24th, the special Spanish lesson will have to be canceled. Gabriella, Marion, Terry, and Kara are in that class. Do they know anything? Something or someone has set off the smoke alarm in the disused classroom, but when investigated, there was no sign of the cause. Find out who's responsible. Oh, fuck. Shit. Damn. Balls. Rip in pieces. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going to have to take this real slow then. Mallory can afford one round of question. To be fair, we would have been stressed either way, I think. Yeah, maybe. S they're stressed, and then they're stressed having called out a traitor. So I'm wondering if that was the lesser of two evils right now. All right, we'll send Mallory for one round of questioning and then give her a break. At least it succeeded. All right. These two are still overstressed. Mallory needs a break. Again, one round of questioning. Send Rowan for one inspection. Everybody else, chill out. Good roll. Ugh. Good. Out the had a question. Bond to, to inspect the Spanish room. Ah, hell, let's have some fun. Good. So we're thinking there was a mix up, and if we find something in the music room.
All right. I'm going to send Vaughn in for some observation training. I didn't know you could fail upwards. To a point. If we let it pass and don't lose any karma or reputation, it'll give us one point just for surviving the mission, I suppose we'll call it. That's fine. So we're going to make Vaughn our observation bitch. Good. Real good. Council gets karma. Okay, good for two points. Okay, daytime. Dealer's choice? Dealer's choice. All right, let's see. Let's see out there. To the planetarium. I'm going to go with my own answer here. Feel free. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Damn, she's soured. So forward. Indeed. Well, that's interesting. Loyalty goes up by five anyway. And we'll check with Rowan. Maybe she'll want to go. Yep, the high definition movie displays, seating. <laughs> Did you fall asleep? Oh, really? I'd like to know that myself. I mean, I've been told that for years, so... I mean, Is she a fucking alien? I mean, maybe. Oh, oh. You thinking what I'm thinking, Admiral? I, oh. Kinda. I'll leave this one up to you, friend. Three. Mm. 
Well, well, well. Screenshot. God fucking goddamn it, shit. Well, I'm going to put this right here. Why do I always love traitors? God damn it. I am so sorry, Admiral. Well, what questions should we ask? A. Hmm. Oh, she's mad. Well, they're going to want to know about this at the end of this week. So, I suppose we'll go one more week just to resolve that decision. Right. All right, then. On we go. Yeah, lemons suck. Oh, that's right, October 24th was the deadline. <sighs> really, out of these six, we have two choices. The question is, Admiral, how do you deal with betrayal? Opportunities to lie, one to bring down the hammer of truth, and one to defend a chosen lover. Fuck it, go for the last option. Okay. thinking well I know what one of these options does is that's this is the route that we took when wit was courting Vaughn and Vaughn was the traitor the other one I don't know how Talmadge is going to react just tell me we chose between her and me and we kept Vaughn 
that one then. Is this even a question? <laughs> Of course not. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought about it at least, but... Let's just say you were saved by somebody with a much kinder heart than mine, to a point. Stop insulting me. <laughs> it's like calling Spock human. <laughs> So, I'm torn between B and C. So are we. B. Okay. What is it the kids say nowadays? Yes, queen. All right, so now we're going to be given some intel on who hired her. Another secret society and another potential kidnapping all right so at the point that we're at now we're going to start seeing some repeat missions at points and we reached our goal of figuring out who the traitor was and getting that confirmation that having been said do we stop this right here as a one-shot or should I attempt to find a night where we can continue this thing? I. I would say stop here. Okay. Yeah, we got as far as we wanted to. So, let's... I mean, honestly, not fucking bother. I'm just gonna... Yeah, whatever. Well, I do hope Wit's happy when she wakes up and sees this next. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> uh. Uh, I get this feeling that the world is going to end so we're just gonna we're just gonna stop here and now uh so yeah for wit and admiral i am alpha and hopefully you enjoyed this little peek at the first part of black closet if you're interested go check it out on steam and uh yeah until next time see ya god fucking damn it god damn it fucking shit fucking damn it